Hola y bienvenidos a un video de Joseph. Hoy estamos otra vez en Three of Ten en el capítulo 4 de la temporada 1 que se llama Thanks You for Vengan a Set, si es que más no estoy. Así que continuándolo donde lo dejamos que fue en la tienda, veamos qué nos depara este episodio. Okay, yeah, wood paneled water coolers look as cool as they sound. Of all the things in here, I think the dinosaur makes the most sense. You will come to see things our way, Benjamin. Gotta be hearts inside that pottery. I know it. This is a Hugbot plushie. It's a limited edition plushie. Are you real, Ben? Or are you another hallucination? Uh, yeah, I'm real, man. Francine's out of control, dude. Hmm, fake Ben would say something like that. Leave me alone, fake Ben. That sword is way too close to Viper's desk. Who thought that was a good idea? Eh, who the hell is this? What the hell are we gonna do with a cauldron? We're not a damn microbrewery. An anchor. Right. Okay. All right, couch. I didn't think you were going to be the most ordinary thing I saw today. Welcome back, everyone. I'm JT here with the dice bag. Oh, hey, fruit. Oh, it's wax. Dang it. Yeah, you're gonna clean this up, right, Timothy? I'm sorry. I can't do that. All right, I guess this thing is okay. Whatever it is. What the heck is this thing? An antenna? A humidifier? Well, I guess we didn't need to get to the meeting room. Oh well. Voxel blocks? Wow. At least my desk got something cool like the dinosaur.
Jeb, listen, Francine's lost it. She's gone ballistic. Hello, employee. I have no idea what you're talking about. But I gave Francine an important task, and I expect her to deliver. She's making our office look like a toddler sticker book. That sounds fun. I should go check, and I will, once I'm done pondering. Pondering time is crucial for a good boss. Hey there, Ben. What are you two doing in here? We're waiting for Midge. She's downstairs. Downstairs? With the engineers? Is she out of her mind? We're gonna solve the mystery of the shark. Mystery of the... what? Y'all are still on about that crap? Have you looked at the studio? No, we've been in here, doing important stuff. Duh. Why? Okay, look. Francine and Joan have gone rogue. They found some new weird store and they're redecorating the office. So? So... Go look, guys. We've got to wait for Midge. Just poke your damn head out there already. Huh, that's different. Ooh, there are so many things to look at. This looks wild. No, it doesn't look wild. It looks garish as hell, dude. God knows how much she's costing the studio. She's mad with power. All that detail is clouding my judgment, but I think you're overreacting. You know, now that I think about it, Francine can go on power trips. I heard that. Francine, you need to stop this. We can't work in a place like this. I can. We're supposed to be making a game. You made it look like an explosion at the Charm Bracelet Factory. You need an intervention. I figured you might try and stop me again. Luckily, they sell everything at cheap random assets and provisions. Even stock template game developers. Whoa, are those real? Hey, let's not do anything rash, Francine. Shut it, Kevin. There's one for each of you.
You're done getting in my way, Ben. Joan, keep an eye on them. You can't do this! Yeah! This is definitely against some HR policy. Oh, relax. I'll let you out on Saturday, once Jeb has his little... Hey! Put me down! You're supposed to listen to what I... Ah! You plastic moron, don't you know you're under warranty? Well, now, that was rude. Let us out! <sighs> okay, so, no big deal. Just gonna go wander into a pitch black basement filled with God knows what while carrying chai teas. Just another work day, right? Right. Up here, I'm in turn number 47. To think, my folks wanted me to go to law school. We get to do this for free. Happy to be contributing? We're networking. We get to do this for free.
once I ship my first game, I'll get a real name. This algorithm. to be contributing? Furniture. We're a support structure.
lost without sugar. Working on the game. We want the fancy <laughs> sugar drinks. Oh God. We want I've been an intern for years. <laughs> That must be them, the lead engineer. Those directions my ass. What's wrong with your friend? Nothing's wrong with handsome T-Pose York. This is just the way he is and he's perfect. Do these go down? Why would the arms need to go down? Is he alive? Hello in there. Kill me. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. We don't speak bubble. Man, here I was hoping to have a normal productive day for once. I hope you're happy, Francine. Oh, shut up, Ben. I was doing good work, and you know it. Yeah, well, your good work just took our jobs. Literally. Those things are sitting at our desks. Aw, they think they're people. Right. Like that will fool anyone? Whoa, Francine! This place is so over the top! Good work! Nothing I'm seeing makes any sense. Which must mean it's very artsy. Ah, uh, yeah. I knew you could deliver. Damn it, Francine. Learn to take a compliment. I'll be in my office. Admit it, Francine. You got a problem. Yeah, these doppelgangers. I mean, all this, not just these weird, creepy-ass mannequin things. All that stuff out there, that's the problem. I tell you what. Let's deal with the fake game developers first. And then we can talk about redecorating. Deal. Who do we still have on the outside? Uh... We got Jeb. Anyone useful? Julie? She hasn't left the recording booth since August. Maybe Midge. Where is Midge? Oh, right. Midge. Um, hello. Are you the lead engineer? Hi, I'm Midge, the new animator. I, uh, I replaced Javier. Uh, sorry I didn't come down to introduce myself earlier. I know, kind of rude, right? Look, I don't want to bother you all, but, um, something got changed with the build yesterday, and we're curious if you could, uh, check the logs? I brought you chai lattes. You want me to put them there? Uh, okay. Oh, this, this is the check-in log. Check-in 4702, 12.15 a.m. Okay, so around midnight last night. Submission notes, added revised shark model with fancy shaders. 
Contributor Midge P. This can't be right. That's me. Viper! Viper! Huh? Who's talking? Damn bees. I bet it was office bees again. Viper! Ugh, damn it! Who is it already? Over here! Are you real Francine or fake Francine? I've been, like, seeing stuff ever since yesterday. I see stuff when I get mad sometimes. What? Let us out. Can't. Door handle's gone. But, yeah, there are, like, a bunch of faceless nightmare people out here. It's weirding me out, but they're fake. They're real. They locked us in here. Oh, man. There are more of you jokers in there? Look, uh, this situation is dire. The office is filled with hostiles. You're the only one who can save us. I knew this day would come. Okay, how do you kill these nightmares? They're not alive. They're just made of polystyrene. Really? Will they give you cancer if you lick them? Only in California. Whoa, whoa. Just so we're clear, I'm not licking anybody, okay? Focus, people. Just, like, set them on fire or something, Viper. You're kidding me. The one day I left my flamethrower at home. You have a flamethrower? Duh. I have the official Sweaty Blood 14 Collector's Edition Fully Functional Flamethrower. Signed by a bloody Chuck cosplayer. I guess I can run home and get it. No need. I got a flamethrower from that store. You have a flamethrower too? Uh, no. It's the office flamethrower. I think it's over by the wood chipper. We have a wood chipper? It was in the clearance section, okay? All right. So, get the flamethrower, set everything on fire. These things are toast. Kill it with fire! Take this, fake person thing! Ow, Everyone's on fire! Flamethrower that overheats. Got you. Eat this. You're on fire, and you're on fire, 
And you're on fire too! You're on fire, and you're on fire, and you're on fire too! Burn, baby! Burn! Everything burn! <laughs> Everyone's on fire! I am victorious! Viper? What's going on? What? Ha! Huh. I can't believe that worked! Thanks, handsome T-Pose, Yorick. Oh, damn! Viper, you set the studio on fire! Hey, what did you think would happen? Ryan Seed, what do we do? Why are you asking me? Use the fire extinguisher. That's on fire, too! So, bad news, everyone. As you all know, the studio caught fire today. We lost all the Francine's hard work. It turns out everything she bought was extraordinarily flammable. Yeah, I'm sorry I got carried away, everyone. It was fun while it lasted, though, so I can't promise I won't do it again someday. Also, while structural damage was minimal, we've had to cancel our upcoming investor meeting. It's a real shame. It would have been great to get those investors in here. I can practically smell their wallets. That's smoke damage. On the plus side, insurance payout from the fire should keep us going for a few months. So, yay. Now everyone, get to work cleaning this place up while I go ponder this. Whew, glad that's all settled. Who knew cheap goods were so dangerous? Oh, uh, Joan, we have to destroy Yorick too. Oh, he'll be chained up in my basement, don't you worry. Well, all right then. Hey, Midge. Did the lead engineer tell you who added the shark mesh? Uh, yeah. They, uh, they said it was a rendering optimization. Really? An optimization? I believe it. Engineers never lie. They refactor instead. Huh. All right. Well, I guess that means we can't change it back, huh? Viper won't be happy. We shouldn't change it back anyway. Have you looked at the meter? The meter? Oh! Hot heckin' damn! Four out of ten? Yeah. I've never seen that number go up before. Huh. Now we just need to keep that up till we release. Maybe we can convince the engineers to optimize their stuff more. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. Bueno, y de esta manera hemos terminado el capítulo 4 de Trough 10. Esperando que les haya gustado con todo este incendio que sucedió. Me despido, así que chao y nos vemos hasta la próxima.